Question number four. Which products have total sales greater than the average total of all products? Average total sales of all products. Again, let's take some notes because it always helps. So I need the products that have sales greater than the average of total sales. There are many ways to do this. You could use a window function, but I like using CTEs because it makes my code more readable and easy to follow. So the syntax to write the CTE is use the keyword with, and then I will call this product sales as. And now you need to select whatever's in your CTE. So I'll need the product ID, and then I need the sales USD, and I'm going to call this column again, total sales. I'm selecting from my plants dataset in BigQuery from the plants fact table. And then I need to group by the product ID. There we go. So in this table, I'm going to have uh, this right here. I can just run this and you'll see that I'll have my total sales grouped by my product ID. Now, I need the products that have total sales greater than the average of uh, average total sales of all products. So I can just use my CTE. So let me select product ID and then let me select total sales and then let me s product ID total sales. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, actually that still works. Yeah, that's fine. And then from product sales where so now the total sales is greater than and let me use another select statement the average of the total sales of all products yeah from product sales and i think this should be okay and there we go we have all of the products that have total sales greater than the average total sales of all products. So it's going to be these products, 393 to be exact. And that was question number four. Question number five. Oh, I like this one. What is the month over month percentage growth in sales for the year 2023? Let's take some notes right here. So I need month over month percentage change and the way you do that is, by the way, you do new minus old over old times 100. And then you get the percentage. And then the year is 2023. Okay. So the way I like doing these questions is using a CT. And then I just select from the CT. It just makes everything so much neater. So let me create one called monthly sales. You already know the syntax, hopefully you do. And I will select, so first of all, because I need the month over month percentage growth, I need to extract the month from my date column. And oh, I will call this sale month. Yeah, maybe. And then I'll need my sales USD. So I'll need my plants fact dot sales USD uh, plants fact dot sales USD yeah so this is my sales column and I'm extracting this one from plants dot plants fact uh, yep I think that looks good actually let me just do this to make it a little bit more readable. Okay, so where? And now I need only the 2023 months. So let me use the keyword extract again. I'm extracting the year from date. And then this needs to be equal to 2023. And then group by the sale month because we want to see the month over month percentage growth or percentage change in sales. Apologies for my upper case and lower case being all over the place. Let me fix that from select for, ah, from 
Okay, I think this looks a little bit neater now. Ah, oh, maybe the ass keyword could be capitalized as well. Okay, so now all I have to do is just select from this table that I already wrote. So let me select the sale month and then let me select the the sales. And here comes the fun bit is now we're gonna lag the sales by one month and then we're gonna calculate the difference between the new and the old. So to lag something, we can just use the window function called lag. Which figure are we lagging? The sales and then use the over clause. And now you need to order by the sale month. And let's call this previous month sale. So now we have the sale month, we have the sales, we have the previous month's sale. So we just need the difference between the, uh, the sales and the previous month's sales. So the way to do that will just be new minus old over old. So sales minus um, this right here. So new minus old, yep. And then I'll uh, divide the whole thing by the old, yep, and times 100. And let me call this, I bet I'm missing uh, some brackets in some places, but let me just call this month on month PCT change from monthly sales. I think I'm missing some brackets. Okay, so I did some fact finding here and actually there is nothing wrong with the query. I have no idea why BigQuery is telling me that it's wrong because I completed my query and that looks good to me. So I have the sales, sales this month, sales previous month, and then the difference. I am not entirely sure what's happening here because clearly BigQuery is telling me that I have a syntax error, which I don't think I do. Okay, so what I could do here is I could simply round this whole thing to one decimal, maybe. And then it'll just look a little bit neater. There we go. So we have a, first of all, 24.6% decrease month on month. Then we have a 47.9% increase, so on and so forth. I have no idea why BigQuery is telling me that something is wrong because my code is clearly running. So... Anyway, let's move on to question number six. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. The dataset links are there as well, along with the link to Data Analysis Lab and the link to my newsletter and 50 projects in 90 days. So make sure you check them out. Please do, because I teach more of this stuff in a lot more detail. So if you like this, you're definitely gonna like what you find using the links in the description below. Okay, so question number six. Among product groups sold in China during 2023, which are the top five most profitable based on the difference between the sales and cost of goods sold? Let's take some notes again. So we need the country China, and uh, we only have the country code, by the way, but I know for China it's going to be CN. So CN is our country code. Year is 2023 and I need the top five most profitable products. And the way we calculate the profitable is by the difference between sales minus cost of goods sold. All right, so we'll need to select the product group and then we'll need the sum of the sales in USD. And actually, let me name this f dot sales USD because I will have to do the join minus f dot cost of goods sold USD as total profit instead of just profit. Yep. From plans dot plans fact as f, and then I need to join plans dot plans dim d on f dot 
product ID is equal to D dot product ID. Okay, so I have the product group, I have the total profit, but I need this for China during 2023. So where f dot country code is equal to, I know for China it's CN, and then end. Now I need to extract 2023. So go for year from date where this is equal to 2023. So we can get the product group sold in China during 2023. And then let's just group by what's in the select statement. So D dot product group. And um, yeah, let's order by the total profit in a descending order because we need the top five. And then all we have to do is limit five. Okay, so let's see. This should run just fine. And there we go. So these are gonna be the top five product groups sold in China during 2023. And let me actually for question five, Ah, oh, let me just delete this. It's constantly giving me the error. It's annoying me a bit now. All right. Oh, that wasn't even the problem. I have no idea what's causing the issue here, but if you if you let me know in the comments below, that would be great because uh, clearly something is up with my BigQuery here. Maybe if I reload it, will it be something different? Let me save it down. Um... Let me save my query and call this demo one. Okay, let me save it down and just refresh the page. Okay, so let me go back to my queries. I have demo one right here open in a new tab. Okay, so this is my demo one. Still giving me the error. Okay, who knows? Doesn't really matter. 